Hi, my reading friends. I have a story to share with you today that I picked up at the library and it caught my eye because it says, The Quiet Time. And this weekend ahead, we are expecting to have very, very cold temperatures. The kind of cold temperatures when you cannot go out and play. And a lot of people might be inside having a little quiet time or maybe it will be a loud, crazy time at your house or maybe you'll have a little bit of both. I think I'm gonna have a lot of quiet time at my house. So, Houndsley and Katina, The Quiet Time by James Howe. And this is another chapter book. So, let's look at the chapters, the contents. Chapter one, Silent White. Chapter two, The Island. Chapter three, The Concert. Let's read all of them. Chapter one, Silent White. It was the first snow of the winter Houndsley gazed out his window at the silent white falling everywhere. The world had no shadows, only white on white on white. What kind of animal is Houndsley? Maybe that's a dog, a hound dog. It is the quiet time, Houndsley said in his soft as a rose petal voice. Katina, listen, it's too quiet. Quiet, she said. Oh, said Houndsley, but that is why this is my favorite time of year. In the quiet time, everything stops. I think we may be snowed in. Ooh, it won't be the snow keeping us in this weekend. Cold. Snowed in? Katina cried, jumping up to join Houndsley at the window. But this is terrible. What about the concert tonight? I was going to get my whiskers curled. I was going to get a new dress and I was in charge of refreshments. We have all day to bake cookies, Hounsley said. Your whiskers look fine just the way they are and you have plenty of dresses you can wear. The stores might not even be open today. It's a storm, Katina. There's nothing we can do but enjoy it. Isn't it beautiful? Can you see her instrument there? Maybe a saxophone? It's a really long one. A storm isn't beautiful, Katina replied. A storm means not being able to do all the things we had planned on doing. Oh no! What is it, Hounsley asked. What if we can't have our concert? We've been practicing for months. What will be, will be, Hounsley told his friend. Let's enjoy the day. We can still practice, and if there's a concert tonight, we'll be ready for it. I like his optimism. He's keeping things real and fun. Houndsley returned to his cello. Katina picked up her clarinet. I have the wrong instrument. Before they began to play, Houndsley said, listen, Katina, can you hear it? Hear what? The quiet. It's almost like music. Ooh, the quiet is almost like music. Suddenly, there was a loud crash from the house next door. Houndsley's neighbor, Bert, was practicing for his part in the concert. Bert played the cymbals. Houndsley said, Katina, I do not think Bert understands about quiet time. He's got to practice too, right? Chapter two, the island. Ooh, look at my green fingers today. The snow kept falling all morning. Katina fretted about her plans for the day. All morning, Houndsley told her not to fret. What does fret mean? I guess she's a little nervous or a little scared. Finally, Houndsley said, let's pretend that we're on an island. We can't go anywhere. Let's see what we have on the island with us. I suppose we have, don't suppose we have a whisker curler, do we? Said Katina. No, but we do have books, said Houndsley. He pulled the book from the shelf and sat down on the sofa patting the cushion next to him. Let's read poems to each other. I'll start. Ooh, I love that idea. Sharing a poetry book. At first, Katina had a hard time paying attention. She looked out the window and wished that the snow would stop. But when it was her turn to read, she found a poem that made her laugh. And then Hounsley read a poem that made her cry. I'm not a very good writer, she told Houndsley after they had read for a while longer, but it might be fun to write poems, even bad ones. 
think there may be paper and pencils on this island, said Houndsley. For a long time, the two friends wrote poems and read them to each other. Ooh, that's an idea for a quiet weekend. Do some writing. I'm sleepy, said Katina. My brain is tired. Why don't you take a nap while I fix lunch, Houndsley suggested. Good idea, said Katina with a, with a yawn. After lunch, Hansley and Katina baked cookies. Ooh, that's something fun to do. Then they played board games because there, there were board games on their island too. Can you play some games this weekend? There were also logs on their island. Hansley and Katina built a fire and talked about what they saw in the flames. And then they grew still didn't talk at all. At last, Katina said, I think there are dreams on this island. What do you mean? Hounsley asked. Oh, I was just dreaming about all the things I would like to do someday, and then I thought that dreaming about them is almost as good as doing them. Hounsley nodded. Sometimes dreaming is even better than making plans, he said. Ooh, maybe this weekend I'll be dreaming that I'm on a beach. Soon it was late afternoon and the house was growing cold. We need more logs, said Houndsley. I'll climb out the window and get some. Can't open my doors because of all the snow. I'll go with you, said Katina. Here they go. It's not too cold at their house. Houndsley and Katina almost forgot about getting the logs. They were too busy building snow creatures and making snow angels and catching snowflakes on their tongue. A sudden crash sent them scrambling to get their logs and climb back inside. What do you think the crash was? Do you think it's the neighbor again or was it a tree falling? As Hounsley rebuilt the fire, Katina returned to the kitchen with a pot of ginger tea. Another crash was heard. On the island next door, said Katina, there are symbols. That's what the crash is. Look at that cozy spot they have. Ooh -wee. Would you have some tea on a quiet day or would you have hot cocoa? Chapter 3, The Concert The sound of cymbals crashing was replaced by the sound of a shovel scraping against the sidewalk in front of Hounsley's house. Hounsley! Katina! cried Bert. It's time to go to the concert. Here comes Bert. Hounsley and Katina looked out to see their friends and neighbors trudging through the snow with their instruments. But I have to go to my house and change my clothes, said Katina. No one will see a fancy dress under your coat, said Hounsley. Besides, a concert is for listening, not for looking. Hounsley handed Katina her coat and a pair of snow boots. Here they go. I guess there will be a concert. Too bad we can't listen to it. I've been practicing all day, Bert said excitedly to his friends as they slowly made their way through the snow. Hounsley and Katina smiled to each other and said nothing because they heard him practicing. I'm sad that we have left our island, Katina whispered to Hounsley as they joined the others at the light strung gazebo in the park. I like the quiet time. Hounsley nodded. I was looking forward to this concert, he said, but it seems a shame to make noise tonight, even if the noise is music. Here comes a bear and a bunny too. As the musician, musicians took their places in the gazebo, a small audience gathered. The houses around the park had their windows open so those inside could listen too. Without saying a word, the musicians picked up their instruments and began to play so softly that the notes fell on the listening ears like snowflakes on waiting tongues. Gently, softly, there for a flicker before melting away. Hounsley began to worry that Bert would ruin everything. Bert's only part was to play the final note of the final piece of music. How awful, Hounsley thought, if we end the evening with a crash. What do you think? Should they end the evening with a big crash? Bert probably wants to play his part. He's practicing. But when the last note came, it was not a crash or a clash or a boom or a bang. It was the closest the cymbals can come to silence. It sounded like a chime in the wind. It lingered and floated and fell into the quiet time. For a long while, no one spoke and no one moved. Everyone just sat and listened to the silence. Some may have dreamed. Ooh, soft snow, quiet.
kittens and trees. When they finally started making their way home, Katina asked, May I stay at your house tonight, Houndsley? May I stay too, asked Bert. Of course, said Houndsley. Thinking about the refreshments they had forgotten to take to the concert, he added, We may have to eat a lot of cookies. Oh, I wonder if they have Girl Scout cookies. If they don't, I know where they could get some. Katina and Bert didn't mind. Eating cookies would be the perfect way to share a quiet time together. The end of this little cute chapter book about the quiet time. It makes me want to go ahead and make some plans for a quiet weekend. I think I would like to bake something and I think I would like to do a lot of reading and I think other people at my house will want to watch movies so maybe we'll do a little bit of all that. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you stay warm and maybe you'll listen to lots of Miss Honey stories this weekend while you're home and it's quiet and it's freezing cold. Thank you for joining me for this story today, and I will see you soon. Bye, readers.